So you've got yourself a Mac, you've got VMware Fusion running on your Mac, and we're gonna show you how to get Windows 11 to actually install as a virtual machine on your Mac through VMware Fusion. We're gonna be covering those steps in this video right now. So we've opened up a browser, as you can see right here, and we need to download the Windows 11 ISO file. The ISO is essentially an executable file. It's a package file that contains the operating system, which then will allow you to actually go and install Windows 11. Now, as of this video, the Windows 11 installation is still in beta mode. So I'm gonna be downloading the beta and following those steps, but the steps will be exactly the same for a non-beta, for a full revision, full edition of Windows 11. So I'm navigating to www.microsoft.com forward slash software dash download. So if you do have Windows 11 listed, click on that. Otherwise, I'm gonna go and actually get it from here, Windows 10 Insider Preview. So as part of the Insider Preview, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom. I'm gonna click on the drop down, and I'm gonna download the Windows 11 Preview Enterprise Beta Channel right there and click on Confirm. We can now download that so that we can actually use that ISO. Now, as I said, this is just the beta download. You get yourself your Windows 11 ISO from wherever it may be, and the process will be exactly the same from here onwards. So with the ISO now downloaded, you'll see that it's on my desktop right here. Here it is, my Windows 11 ISO ready to go. We're now gonna open up VMware Fusion. Now, of course, you need to go and have purchased or using a trial version of VMware Fusion to be able to do this. So we're gonna go and open it up, and I'm gonna go File, New, over here. Now I'm gonna select the installation method. So I can literally just grab that ISO and drag it in right into there, click on continue. We'll now select what operating system this is. And of course this is Microsoft Windows. And because this version of Fusion doesn't understand or doesn't know about Windows 11 yet, uh, it's not gonna be listed, but that's fine. This is more just for configuration. So we're gonna select Windows 10 X64 and select continue. We're gonna select here our legacy BIOS as the boot firmware. Here's a summary of what's gonna happen and we select finish. Now I'm gonna ask me, where do you want to save this? Well, this is essentially just a VM file. It's, a, it's an image file of your Windows 11 installation. We're gonna give this a relevant name. Of course, we're gonna call it Windows 11. And you wanna save it to a spot that has enough capacity because as your VM grows, you're gonna need more and more capacity. So that could be on your Mac, but it could also be on an external USB drive. It could be on a NAS, somewhere that has enough capacity to be able to store and save this VM as it grows. Save. Okay, we've opened up a new window here, and we're gonna click on the play. Okay, so Windows 11 has booted, and this is a good sign. If you're seeing this, it means that your ISO is a valid ISO, it's bootable, and VMware Fusion has now booted that Windows 11 ISO. So we can now then look at configuring Windows 11 by following the standard prompts that you can to actually go and install Windows. You select your relevant operating system version. Now, my one is gonna be Windows 11 Enterprise. You select your relevant version. They're all different. Uh, they have different pros and cons for each of them, different features. Accept those terms if you're happy with them. We're gonna select custom. Here is the drive. So by default, it's allocated a 60 gig drive. You can, of course, customize this. You could shut this down and allocate more. But even once the VM is built, you can also expand this hard drive and make it bigger down the track, okay? Making sure you're selecting your relevant drive. Select next. And then the installation of Windows will now commence. So this will take a little bit of time. And then we go and configure Windows and start using Windows 11. So here's our Windows 11. You just follow the standard prompts to go and configure your Windows 11 accordingly. Hey, so while that is installing, if you work in tech or you're wanting to know more about tech, I've got a whole bunch of training courses available. Check out my description below. There'll be something in there for you around VMware, around other sysadmin sort of things. If you wanna learn more about the Mac, heaps of courses that I know that you'll definitely find helpful. The next step from here is I would recommend going and installing VMware tools by going into the virtual machine and select install VMware tools. It'll just have help with compatibility between your new VM, Windows 11, and also your Mac computer and the VMware Fusion application. Why don't you let me know in the comments below whether this worked for you, whether it was successful to get it working on VMware Fusion. Like this video, also subscribe, click on the button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. I release a lot of videos around all things tech, so I definitely know that you'll find some of those helpful. Thanks again, we'll talk to you next time.